Check one, two, check one, two. Let's hope the mic works this time. Welcome back, everybody. It is finally here, the S20R, which I have been very excited about, as some of you probably know by now. Uh, I finally got it, and uh, it's in pretty good shape cosmetically, actually, and I've got it upside down because I could not contain my excitement. If you have a look in here, uh-oh, somebody has recapped it, and there are some very questionable, you know, things here. That, and then there's what looks like very thin speaker wire, which is rated for no more than 50 volts. There's this absolute beauty of a job. Can you see that there? Oh yeah, oh yeah. And just tack solder it on there. You know, it doesn't really matter. And this here is just, oh yeah, look at that solder on there. All that tube pin there, beautiful, isn't it? And then we have this here. They forgot the solder, the resistor. Can you see it? I know this camera is a piece of shit but I'm too excited to go get my real camera. Can you see that soldier on there and there? Well, you probably can't see that one, but they didn't solder the bloody resistor. <laughs> but yeah, they've changed some resistors. They've changed some caps. The law across the line cap is still original though, which surprises me. Uh, so that one's gonna have to go before I can even consider putting power on this and I'm probably gonna go at and replace this as well I've already taken my multimeter to this and done some spot checks the main filter actually checks okay on the meter and I I'm very familiar with my meter so I know what's bad and what's good on it what's leaky and what's not leaky that thing actually checks out so that's interesting maybe we can power it up with it on of course i'm gonna recap this whole thing there's no way that i'm gonna leave all these crappy caps in here but yeah these bloody capacitors are insane because for some reason people think they have such a fantastic sound in their guitar amplifiers i could probably take all these out very carefully from here put them up on ebay and i could probably sell them for double what I paid for the bloody radio I'm not even kidding it's insane and all of these are leakier than all hell electrically I took my multimeter to them and they're just they're gone all of them like if we're gonna power this up I'm not even gonna consider bringing it up to full voltage because these are gonna leak so much DC it's just gonna destroy every tube in here this one here especially this is the audio output coupling cap to the 6F6 there. That one is just going to have to go. But we'll get we'll deal with that a little bit later. We have all the knobs. Unfortunately, the dial string is snapped. And I've got it upside down. So I'm going to flip it around real quick here. I can't pause the video. So apologies. Oh, I can edit it, but I don't really want to. I am way too excited to deal with video editing right now. And here we go, that's how it looks like from above. As you can see, it's in quite good shape. Yeah, there's some patina to it, of course, but... You know, I'm probably going to wax this and polish this as good as possible and just leave it this way, because I want to keep the patina. Removing the patina on here would be like destroying the history of the radio I think and uh, we have all the vacuum bobs which is a nice surprise and I've taken them all out and had a look at them they are the right things in the right places so that is actually really really nice I was worried about that for a moment uh, so we've got a 6F6 can't remember it's a type A rectifier 6SQ7 I believe, 6SK7, 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 6H6 and I can't remember what that is, whatever, we'll, we'll figure that out later. So you can see the dial cord is snapped and uh, yeah, but all these are turning really freely and I haven't even oiled them yet. 
So that is already a really good sign. None of this is stuck, everything is moving nice and freely, so that's good. And the dial lights, I took those off, they are laying in here for now. Got the original power transformer, which ohms out good. It's a 110 volt transformer though, so it's probably not gonna stay. Uh, one of the chassis screws is out, and I took the feet off, because it only had two of them still remaining. So I took them off to make it sit level right now. Here's the chassis screw, but I'm missing the nut for it. So what I'll probably end up do is, uh, doing is I'm going to probably shave this off and refread it for M4, because this is some kind of American inch. And uh, of course, I don't know what it is, but it's similar to an M5, but you can't thread an M5 because the threadings have the wrong spacing. So what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to put this in the lathe and just cut it off a little bit and um, refread it for M4. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like much else has been fucked with on it, thankfully. Uh, I am a bit surprised that it has been recapped to such an extent. And, but, oh well. We're gonna have to recap it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, and the things falling around in there right now, they're just the dial lights, so don't worry about that. Yeah, that's that. That's the Helicrafter. We got it here. And uh, very glad that none of the knobs are missing. That's actually pretty damn nice. And. Uh, these are not that yellowed, they are yellowed, but they're not that terribly yellowed, so I think that's pretty cool. All the switches on this thing are fine, which is nice. They feel fine and they work fine. I expect that I'm gonna have to clean every single, and this thing is just like squeaky doodle here. <laughs> Oh, it's moving the whole bloody thing. That's not good. And that's for the beat frequency oscillator, which is so you can decode signals that only have a carrier and no modulation. It's pretty cool. This thing is actually in pretty good shape, I have to say. It's been a bit sloppily hacked up, but I have seen way worse. There was someone on YouTube who posted a video about someone who had done just insanely bad job on one of these. So, you know, this is nothing compared to that. This is easy to work on. This I'm probably not going to have to trace much out, thankfully. I'm just going to have to get rid of all these, get rid of bad resistors, fix bad soldering, and I think that's about it. I'm gonna change this line cord probably, even though it's fine. And I, and I did have the original plug for it here, which I cut off. And you can see that thing is just horribly deformed. But yeah, this is a 110 volt model, unfortunately, which is going to make it a bit harder. But I've got transformers, so we can we can work with that. That's the least of my worries, actually. I'm more worried about this, but this is actually, I had a look at this closely, and I'm fairly experienced with vacuum tube circuits, those of you who know me, and it looks like they've simply changed the cathode resistors for the preamp tube and output tube, and they've put these new, or at least newer, uh, bypass capacitors there, so they are basically just there for tone, they're not there for much else and of course to improve the distortion performance etc etc but yeah and this is it's just amazing they've used two unused pins on here it's a terminal strip but why did you not put this a bit closer and this is just ridiculous but oh well <laughs> i've seen worse and this thing is gonna get replaced anyways and i can probably sell this for 20 dollars or something insane like that to some audio fool who thinks that these capacitors are so amazing. <laughs> but yeah, 
we have it and it is in it's all there it does have a homemade bottom panel but you know that's fine I've seen worse so that doesn't actually bother me all that much it is missing a few screws for the bottom panel but I'm probably gonna replace these screws anyways because they're not all that great so I'm just gonna probably change a lot of it and these screws here on the back I noticed they were loose and they are actually stripped out so someone has over tightened them at some point so I'm probably just gonna change those as well later we're gonna change a lot of screws and of course this thing is gonna need to be modified so it can work but uh, yeah it's all there and uh, I'm gonna flip it back around and we're gonna have a look at the speaker and output transformer real quick. Oh. It is a pretty heavy base, but it's not the heaviest radio I own actually. I have one which is much heavier than this, believe it or not. Uh, the speaker, yeah, it's original and it doesn't look damaged. And uh, there's no holes in the cone as far as I can see, which is amazing. And the second thing is, the output transformer hasn't been fuckered with, and the field coil is st still here, so it's the original speaker, and uh, I'm very thankful for that. I hope it works, I haven't owned it out yet, and yes, I need to clean the tubes, I hate when it's grimy, and you can see the whole chassis is a bit grimy. I'm probably going to take all of this out of here and, you know, do it properly. But for the time being, I'm very happy with the fact that we've got everything, even though it's been a little bit modified. That's fine, you know, considering this thing's age. That's absolutely fine. We can deal with that. And there is a absolutely beautiful reproduction restoration manual or repair manual for this thing someone actually took the time and re made every single page in the service manual that they made their own detailed descriptions on how to do things on these how to align them how to fix the dial cords it's an absolutely beautiful piece of paper it's like 80 pages long and I think I'm going to print the whole thing so I have it right here. Because having a computer out here, it's asking for disaster. Something is going to get dropped on it and that's going to be the end of that. So, I can see it's taking a fair hit here at some point. Look at that. It's quite deep. <laughs> it's taking a fair hit. But yeah. These are pretty skookum, so these are not going to break. <laughs> not easily at least. But yeah, I have a lot of work to do, and I am tempted to put this on bulb limiter and vary, I can see what we can do, but we're going to have to change that cap there first, because it's going to explode on us. Or I can just cut it out and leave it out, it doesn't actually matter for a test. I just want to make sure that we have B+, plus, that the transformer is actually okay. It ohms out fine, but it could have an internal bridge or short. I've had that in the past. But yeah, everything is here, and that's the main thing. This is going to be fairly easy to work on. And we're going to recap it, and I think we're going to do a bit neater job than... What someone else has done in here this is pretty terrible <laughs> so I think we're going to I think we can do a bit better than this and some of these resistors are really interesting this looks like a sand resistor with some paper outer cover weird gotta be a bit careful with some of these wires here this thing is all cloth wire thankfully it's not that horrible early plastic that develops issues. You can see on the filter cap here, the ground cable is of that horrible early plastic and it has cracked. But it doesn't matter since it's the ground, thankfully. So we can do a quick test. Now I'm going to change 
all the caps in here anyway so it doesn't really matter but you know I want to be able to test it out first make sure that all the major organs are good so what I think I'm gonna do before I do any of that is we're gonna change change or remove that across the line cap we're gonna change the coupling cap going to the grid of the output tube because I don't want to burn out the output tube this capacitor when I take my meter to it it's basically a dead short so that one's gonna have to go before I can even consider putting power on this um, yeah there's just a bit of a problem and that is that I don't have as many capacitors as I would like to have I've got a lot of capacitors but none of them are the proper values for this radio so this is going to develop into an issue and a lot of them are poles and yeah a lot of these are just not usable because they have insufficient voltage rating that's the main problem the capacitance is pretty much all right but yeah I'm gonna have to purchase parts for this but that's okay I had planned to do that anyways I actually I think what I'm gonna do instead of looking in here and seeing what we have because it's been messed with you know these values may not be proper so what we're gonna do is we're gonna look through that restoration manual and we are going to order all the capacitors the proper values and we're going to order the actually the type so we can just easily replace these and do a proper neat job. I am allergic to recappers who yay hook. I'm very sorry, but that's not the way you do it. You go in here, you unwrap the lead properly, use a solder sucker, unwrap the lead. The solder is fairly brittle, so you can do it. And then you know put new capacitors in in a nice way and put heat shrink tubing over the leads where needed etc etc I am very much allergic to people who j-hook unless it is for testing purposes before the actual restoration begins like in my case here I might take this and just cut it here and I'm gonna just j-hook a temporary capacitor here so that I can power it up without destroying things in that case it's okay but if you plan on you know doing j hooking in your re recap job in your actual recap job then no don't do that yes please don't of course i can't stop here but and i'm sure it holds up just fine it's not that i just think it looks sloppy uh yeah we have it and I am quite satisfied with the fact that we've got everything and this is going to be a very good start to work from because nothing is missing. All the mechanical side of things seem to work. Of course we don't know if it works electrically, these switches and everything, but everything feels okay. And here is the audio gain switch the tone control here which i can't remember which but i think the tone control may be the yeah it's the power switch too and the power switch is clearly good because i tested it earlier and the power switch works so it's nice there it is the beauty <laughs>